today I'm going to be making a Hawaiian tropical fruit inspired parfait. So I have macadamia nuts. I always recommend to toast nuts in the oven, but I will also say, set a timer. I have spent a lot of time in my career burning nuts. And it's like, people ask, how long do they take? And I'm like, just long enough to forget. I'm gonna start with five minutes, and then I'm going to look and see what's happening, okay? So, in the meantime, pastry cream. The technique that we are doing is basically a super basic custard base. A half a quart of cream, quarter cup of sugar in my cream, a quarter cup of sugar. I'm going to be beating some eggs in here. All right, I have a vanilla bean. I thought it was a cocktail mixer. I was like, yes, now I'm like very chic. No, this is a vanilla bean. See, we would have forgotten the nuts because I get involved in something else. I'm gonna just go take a look at my nuts. All right, do they look like any different than they did before? No, I want them to be a little bit browner. So I'm gonna go for another two minutes. So I'm gonna use half of my vanilla beans. Split open one side and we open it up. Then scrape the seeds out and those go right in the pot with your cream. This pod has a lot of flavor, so we're gonna drop it right in there. So I'm giving it a little whisk and I'm going to bring to you boil. Now, over here, four eggs. We beat these together. My nuts are done. See, they look toasty. They're very aromatic. Nice, crispy, crunchy, yay. All right, so I'm just gonna beat this. I don't wanna see any, like, you know, of the egg white hawkers and that kind of stuff. They will never cook out. You will see, like, egg whites, like, floating in your stuff and you don't want to. In my pastry cream, I'm going to add a little coconut so it starts to perfume this milk. I also wanna use some toasted coconut for a garnish, you know, like yummy. And it's like a nice textural thing. So right in the saute pan. So let's just start to get my fruit ready. A mango. In the middle of this, there is a big seed. You can't twist it off like you do an avocado. You have to cut it off. I'm gonna cut the top and the bottom off. Now, I'm gonna cut this skin off, but I'm gonna use the shape of the mango. So I'm just gonna go right around like that. Oop, all right, my cream's coming to a boil. So, it's temper time. We're gonna pour a third of this boiling cream into the eggs, beat it together. Now, immediately whisk in the pan to get the eggs in, but without scrambling. The whole idea of tempering is we're playing with those temperatures. We've got cold and we've got boiling hot. We want to have the meat in the middle. I'm gonna turn my burner down for a second. So we're going to thicken this guy with cornstarch. If I took that starch and I just dumped it right in here, I would get just a giant starch glob. So we make what's called a slurry. We do scoop and sweep. And I'm gonna add about a half a cup of cream. We mix it together, no lumps, and then here we go. Whisk it right into there. You must bring this up to a boil to have that raw starch feeling cooked out. So look at it, it's really nice and thick. All right, so we're gonna strain this out. I'm straining the coconut out. So I'm gonna let this cool. Oh, my coconut's burning. So I'm just gonna quickly finish up some mise en place here. We can go right around. All right, so slices, sticks, dices. All right. I need some plus containers. <laughs> now, a pineapple has all these little eyes in it, so you might have to like dig a little deeper. Slices, sticks, dices. A little bit of banana. And then I'm just gonna do like these guys, a little star fruit. They're kind of like, to me, a cross between a grape and an apple. All right, so I'm just gonna chop up my nuts. All right, whipped cream, definitely give yourself plenty of room to work. All right, so here we go. So, this is it. That's it? <laughs> So at this point, it's about halfway where I needed to be. I'm gonna add my flavoring agents now. So I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla and two tablespoons of sugar into here at this point. Now I'm gonna take it all the way to where I want it to go. 
For today's purpose, what I'm looking for, a soft peak. I see those little peaks going down like that. A stiff peak is when you have that and it sticks straight out. This is a beautiful, silky consistency that's gonna be perfect for my parfait. This is the part where just have fun with it. I'm gonna start off in the bottom of there. Now I'm gonna do some fruity layers, some nuts, toasted coconut. The fun part about eating like a parfait like this is like you get all the layers and it's kind of fun. Like every bite is a little bit of a surprise. Then I'm gonna finish up with a nice big fat dollop of whipped cream. And there we go. One or two of these so people sort of know like what they're getting into. All right, you guys ready to try it? Mm. Make sure, you know, have a few bites, get in there. Delicious.